Hi, I'm Nargan Saryan. In this video, we're gonna talk about pawn classes for creating our game mode. So, without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video, we create a game mode blueprint class, and I promised that I will show you how to create each one of these classes to have your custom game mode we create this bp my game mode and we set the default game mode to this bp my game mode and i did show you how you can set your game mode in word setting in each level you can have different game mode in each level okay by just going to word setting and change this for example to bp my game mode in this case okay so now i want to show you how you can create this default pawn class so you can have more customized game mode okay so for that i want to go to content drawer in here in folder of my classes right click create a blueprint class of type of pawn and i want to call it bp my pawn okay so let's just double click on it this pawn class can be used for the character that the player can control and it can use for enemy ai and for those ally ai and we can use it for a lot of things so in this case we want to use it for our game mode so we want to have our custom game mode right so first of all what we need in here we want a, a visible character so for example let's just add a sphere in here so let's say this is our character okay let's just bring it up a little bit so you can see it clearly and you can see we have this sphere in here and we want this to be our character right so the next thing that we should do for this pawn we should add a camera why because this game mode blueprint class that we create from last video needs a default pawn class and we want to create that okay so the pawn that player can control is this default pawn class so it should have a camera so let's just go here and when we click on this bp my own this self add a camera so let's just go down you, you know that i don't like searching for teaching so add a camera in here and you can see this is our camera node and if we set it for example right here it, it, it is like this is a first person shooter, first person game, first person pawn, first person character. It will look like that. But if we put it here for example like here and change the rotation of that, no it, it looks like a third person game mode, right? So the tricks in here that you should do, you should make this camera to be child of this sphere or character so whenever the position of this sphere change like this the camera follow that character that we have in this example this sphere okay so know that we have this pawn in here if we go to project setting we can change this uh, default pawn class to bp my pawn that we create and you can see if we go to our scene our default pawn class is bp my pawn and we can change it of course what we want to have our own so let's just save and compile in here so now that we set the game mode to bp my game mode now we can just delete this first person character in here just delete this and now if we run our game you can see that uh, no our pawn class is in here and it's working correctly right you can change this um, player start to wherever you want and you can see if this uh, sphere that we created is no over default pawn of course it won't move because we didn't write any logic for that uh, the next thing that i want to show you in this my pawn this is important creating a spring arm what a spring arm do let's just add a spring arm in here if you go to camera again the spring arm is in here and you should make this camera to be child of this spring arm so what this spring arm is doing so for example let me show you you can see the camera no is here if you select our spring arm you can you can see this red line in here and what this spring arm do it will reposition our camera when something is colliding with our camera you see some games the camera go through walls go through chairs go through a lot of stuff that shouldn't go so with this spring arm this spring arm will change the position of the camera so the camera won't go through walls so let's say there is a wall in here okay for example in here the spring arm change the position of camera to something like here so it will be after the wall so the camera won't go through that wall in the next video i'm going to show you how you can move this character in the right way i want to show you the easiest way 
which how you can move this character and have a custom character in your game so till now you learn how you can create this pawn and use it for your game please if you like this video and you want me to create more stuff like this hit that like button it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye